They're right in it again here tonight. 37 to 30, Wake leads at minute 20 to go. It comes down to fourth and four for the Flames to keep the drive alive. Five wide receivers, empty backfield. Salter takes. Looking, throwing, end zone. The adjustment is made by the defender, and it is intercepted. Oh, it's caught. Touchdown, Douglas. No way. It looked like it was going to be intercepted by Wake Forest. And thought, Douglas somehow comes down with the touchdown. And I thought Mustafa, number three, had it. Is it Mustafa? Or maybe it's Winfield. 30 seconds. And once again, Salter extending the play, looking down the field, pointing, telling his receiver what to do. He throws it up. And you see right there, Mustafa had it, but it was oh, knocked out of his hands. Gosh. <laughs> but number eight, Sneed, and Douglas is Johnny on the spot. Watch Mustafa, number three. He's tracking the ball. He's got it. Yep. But you see Sneed knock it out of his hands, and then it falls right into the cradle sack for I, Douglas I, to squeeze the football, and then he looks down. You're watching, <laughs> you're watching the play, and then I see the official put his hands up for touchdown, and you're saying to yourself, what are you talking about? And you just said it off of Sneed's head. And I like this. It's, I like this oh right my, here. They're, they're going, going for, for two. They want the win here. This is what you to do. Go. This is what you do. You're not surprised with Hugh Freeze over there. Absolutely not. He wants the win. And he's got a special play that they probably practice every practice that they've not run. Salter. Hands Hunter. Reverse. And now it's C.J. Yarbrough. He needs the end zone for the two. He's not going to get there. Pushed out of bounds. Ja'Cory Johns. Wake Forest holds. They hang on to the lead. 37-36 to with a minute and 11 to go.